mathematics, and science. Video classes for CBSE student. Only rupees. 1,200. Order now. Nupama Education at gmail.com. Dear student, welcome to the lesson, how do organisms reproduce? Reproduction is a vital part by which an organism can continue its species. So before to the lesson, I want to refresh what you learned in last term. In last term, we have studied regarding the, all the physiological system except reproductive system. In earlier, we have gone through the physiological system like digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system and control and coordination. So, these are very vital without any physiological part except it an organism never survive, but reproduction either essential or non-essential part. What I want to point without reproduction an organism can survive, but without respiration, digestion, excretion, control, coordination, circulation an organism never survive. So, that is very vital and very important functions. But reproduction is not that much of important for survival of an organism. For continuity of the species, it is important, right? So before go to the chapters, I want to brush up some fundamental concept, then we'll start it. For reproduction, you should understand what is mitosis, what is meiosis, what is DNA copying, what is variation, and what is mutation. Because you know, in cellular development. Normally, cell divide for maturity, for growth, but in special organ in our body like ovary and testes, where the cell are divide not to mature the organ to produce gametes like male and female gametes, sperm and ova. So, you should know what is the difference between mitosis and meiosis, right? Let's start. Cell division, it takes place in two process, one is mitosis, another is meiosis. So, what is meiosis and what is mitosis? In mitosis process, the exact number of chromosome will copy from the parents to its offspring. Means, from the mother cell, let the chromosome number is 2n, when it divide to produce 2 cell, the same number of chromosome will copy from mother cell to daughter cell. Well, but in meiosis, what happen? The number of chromosome will haploid, means become half. And one more thing, here one cell produce 2 cell, here one cell produce 4 cell. So, for in first step it is 2n produced 2, 2n, 2n. In meiosis what happened? One mother cell produce 4 daughter cell, but it follow like this. In the first step meiosis, so one produce 2 n n, once again 1 n produce 2 n n. So, finally, one cell produce how many? Data cell, four data cell, but here one mother cell produce two data cell. The difference is the chromosome number here is 2n, here is 2n. The same chromosome number carry, t, carry from mother to data cell. But here the mother cell having 2n of chromosome, finally the data cell, four data cells having haploid chromosome or n number of chromosome. That is the basic difference between mitosis and meiosis. The next part what is the requirement of mitosis and meiosis? You know, in meiosis the mother cell and the daughter cell having haploid chromosome where is in mitosis the chromosome number will be same. It takes place entire part of our body except gonad cells. So, here the meiosis takes place in gonad cells like testes in our body clear. The next part is DNA copying. Well, 
what is exactly DNA copying? The number of chromosome is fixed for all the organism. Similarly, the number of gene also fixed for all organism because the gene is the part of DNA and DNA is the part of chromosome. So, number of chromosome fixed means gene will fix. Let us see what is DNA copying? DNA copying is the process by which two identical copies of one original DNA will produce having similar number of DNA in mitosis and in meiosis haploid number of DNA from its mother cell. See what exactly happened in DNA copying? Let 2n number of chromosome present in mother cell So, the DNA strands adenosine, thymine, cytosine, guanine. So, like that the arrangement thymine, adenosine, cytosine, guanine, adenosine, thymine, cytosine. This process there. So, when you know in mother cell produce two cell, the number of chromosome having 2n and 2n, so it will double. That means, the number of DNA present here become 2 and 2 and means 4 men that is why the DNA should have to double that is why another DNA strands attach here to produce new DNA. This is a single DNA, the single DNA produce 2 DNA 1 and 2 and this goes to 1 to the data cell 1 data cell 2 separately they divide the same strand will repeat here adenosine thymine like that is the process cytosine guanines exact copy of arrangement of the nucleotides will be here. So, this is about your DNA copying and this takes place is a complex process done by most of the enzyme like DNA polymerase. So, DNA polymerase in the enzyme help to DNA copying. So, you will learn in high classes how the mechanism takes place DNA copying, how one DNA produce two DNA, how this also divide to produce another DNA. In this process, the DNA will copy. Clear? The next part is variation. You know, variation is very important because an organism want to sustain in tough conditions. Take an example in a hot, humid climates, there are thousands of bacteria and around 90 percent bacteria will kill because of they are unable to sustain their mammals. And the 10 bacteria which remain there is next time in that type of environment they can sustain means some change in their genetical codes. Some genetical arrangement will change and that causes some variations. So, what variation? Variation is two types one is genetical variations or genotype variations another is phenotypic gen <coughs> variations. What happen if genetical variation will take place or genotypic variation will be take place that causes phenotypic variations means some new features will develop like you go to zebra and giraffe. So, giraffe origin from zebra ok, zebra giraffe have some relations, but the size will vary because of variations evolution. So, evolution is a mixture of or a group of variations accumulate to form evolution. So, variations takes place due to change in genetical code in improper DNA copy and that takes place due to some certain reasons that we will discuss in mutation part clear. So, variation part is over and we will discuss briefly in the content variation and the fourth one is mutation. So, what is mutation? Mutation is a term related to variations what happen in mutation some genetical codes will change that develop some new features it might be constructive or destructive process and it takes place due to some mutagens. Mutagens are the source which causes mutations what are the mutagens it might be chemical sources it might be physical sources it may be microbial sources. What is chemical sources? You know, most of the chemicals causes mutation. And you see in Japan, what happened? After the time of atom bomb, now 
the pupils also having suffer from most of the congenital disorders genetical disorders some might be lost organs some might unable to produce its proper body structures this happen due to some chemicals so harmful chemicals causes mutations you know cancer cancer is a type of chemical mutation next physical part like x rays some environmental condition means high temperature high pollution so these are the factors causes mutations next microbial sources in microbial sources part most of the microorganism causes genetical deformations and the meanwhile the organism having mutations right so mutation you will study in high classes in detail the concept is in mutation part genetical part will genetical code will changes thus due to the chemical physical and microbial